Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be reviewing tips for replacing the camshaft position sensors on this 2014 Toyota Corolla. Now let's get started. So you might ask, what are some of the indicators that you need to replace a camshaft position sensor? Well, you could have a check engine light that are throwing the OBD2 codes P0340 through P0349. Okay, so that's quite a few codes, 4041, 4243, all the way up through 49. Also, you might have rough idling, hard start, backfiring, and even stalling. So let's go ahead and move on to our supply list. Find out which sensor is faulty. There are two sensors. So one is here that's the intake sensor because it's located nearest to the intake. And then there's the exhaust sensor. It's located closer to the exhaust side. So you'll need to figure out, um, I believe the sensors are the same, but whatever code is being tripped, it will tell you which sensor location um, needs your attention. So you need a sensor and also you'll need a 10 millimeter socket. Okay, so let's go ahead. At this time, I'm gonna demonstrate the removal and replacement at this location. And you can, it's the same procedure at both locations. So there's a 10 millimeter bolt right there. Simply remove it. You very carefully pull up on the sensor and you can inspect it. During this video, we're not going to troubleshoot the electrical component. We're simply find out if the sensor is bad. If so, where the sensor is located and how to replace it. So one of the things you wanna check is the condition of the O-ring here. The O-ring is fine here and I can tell that because there's no leaking on the uh, valve cover. There's a con electrical connector right here. If you're gonna replace the sensor, this is where you would press down on this housing right here and disconnect the component. Get your new sensor, simply install it. Listen for the click. There's your click. And you take your 10 millimeter bolt, install it. And I would probably put maybe uh, seven to 10 pounds of pressure that's about all, it's on snug. Make sure that your electrical connector is in place and that's about it. You've replaced the sensor. I hope you've enjoyed my tips. Please like and subscribe and until next time, drive defensively.